So the Biofield Viewer is a relatively new uh, device that allows you to image a person's biofield. So the energy uh, around and through uh, a person's physical body. So it's an aspect of subtle energy. And the way that it does this is by looking at the interaction of an external light source. Uh, so we shine a light on the person. Um, the interaction of that light with the person's biofield. And so then the computer takes that information and color codes the different light intensities that are being reflected off of the body. And so when we image this, we can see uh, differentiations in the body where things are asymmetrical or where there may be uh, congested areas where there's less light intensity uh, or depletions in certain areas. And so we're using this as a way to look and image uh, an aspect of the biofield and how it changes in relation to different kinds of treatment outcomes or during meditation practices. So one of the advantages of the biofield viewer is its portability. So even though you have to have a controlled lighting environment, all of the equipment is very portable. It's a very small camera. The light source is on a tripod. Uh, it's very easy to set up and makes it very useful, for, especially for research purposes. In order to image the biofield around the body, the camera actually has to, um, and the light source has to reflect off of the skin. So any shadows or um, color that is from um, hair or t-shirts or things of that nature is going to change the imaging in such a way that it's really, you can't really interpret it. What we ask people to do is to wear um, something that reveals um, as much skin as possible for whatever the appropriate context is, obviously. And so if we can see arms and the top of the chest, belly, that sort of thing, that's very helpful. If people have long hair, we ask them to pull it back into a bun or something so that uh, it's not shadowing around the face. When they do the imaging, we usually will do a series of pictures. We'll do a, a front shot and we'll have them turn to the side, get a side shot, both sides, and then we'll also get a shot from the back. What will then happen is um, we'll need some time to actually uh, analyze the images. And so some of that is just done uh, subjectively, looking at things like symmetry in the body or asymmetry and seeing if it, any of it makes sense with what we know about the person. And so there may be some sort of an interview or consultation that goes on with the person discussing what we're seeing. Another way that we're analyzing it, especially for research purposes, is to take the data and quantify it by looking at, specifically we can look at symmetry in the person comparing right to left sides of the body, um, as well as looking at changes in the brightness of certain colors um, between conditions. So we can see how much the biofield is changing um, for instance, if we're measuring before and after a meditation or before and after a healing session. So the primary study that we've used this with so far from a research perspective was looking at novice and experienced meditators before and after doing a twin hearts meditation. And so Along with EEG data and some other things that we used for the study, we took a biofield image in a controlled environment. Before they did the meditation, they engaged in a 30-minute meditation, and then immediately after the meditation, took a second biofield image so that we could compare pre and post. And so we actually have 24 people that we have these images of, the novice data and then also the experienced meditators. We've also been using it um, more as in sort of a pilot way at looking at um, before and after images and during of different healing practices. Well, healing practices as well as some psychic and mediumship uh, activities. And so um, we have a lot of this preliminary data already, which is very interesting. And so at this point, we're going to start working on uh, coordinating some more concrete studies to look at this a bit further. So I'm, I'm excited for many of the ways that we're already beginning to use the Biofield Viewer. One of the things I would like to do is to start to incorporate it with some of the EEG work that, I'm, uh, that I've been doing to see how do changes in the biofield um, 
coordinate with changes in the EEG patterns. That's one of the things I'm very interested in doing.